Hello everyone. Okay, now we've been talking about different types of diffusion, how we use diffusion, and where diffusion comes from. But now we need to figure out the rate of diffusion. Because diffusion is a time-dependent process. If you ever hear rate, it's usually because it's a time-dependent thing. So what is the rate of diffusion? Well, we express it as diffusion flux. Now flux is a fun word. One, I just love the word flux. Um, it's a great hangman word. But two, it's simply something um, that passes through a surface. So if you have heat passing through a surface over time, that's heat flux. If you have people passing through the door of your shop, that's people flux. Okay? So you can have anything flux if you want to. In this case, we're going to have diffusion flux, or the, you know, the mass of the diffuse species over a particular area it's passing through over time. So mass, area, time. Now this is honestly usually measured experimentally. We'll use some sort of thin sheet of material or a membrane, very, very thin, um, with a known cross-sectional area, A. And it will impose a concentration gradient across the street, across the street sheet, sorry. <laughs> um, put a very high amount of one species on one side and low amount on the other. And we measure the mass of the diffusing species that passes through the sheet over a time period t. And so we'll see, okay, we have the mass of the diffused species over here, we have time, and we'll have this line, we'll see. And that slope is going to be proportional to our flux. Proportional to our flux. Now, in some cases, this will be steady state diffusion. And if it is, then it means that the flux, or rate of diffusion, is going to be independent of time. It doesn't really matter how long it goes, it's just going to be the same. So, in these kind of cases, the flux is simply proportional to my concentration gradient. The higher my concentration gradient, the higher my flux. The only other thing we're going to bring in here is the diffusion coefficient. This is a measure based on the material of how quickly it's going to diffuse. Um, and that there's lots of things that go into diffusion coefficient, as we're going to see later. Um, there's activation energy, and there's temperature, and all these other things are going to be adding to this. Um, but the concentration gradient times this coefficient, which takes into account all the thermal and energetic reasons for dif um, diffusion, multiply together to get the flux. And this is called Fick's first law of diffusion. Now, if this is a linear change, then it's very simple to calculate our derivative right here. It's simply going to be the change in concentration over the change in position. Okay? Don't forget this. This is very commonly used, especially with numerical solutions. So that's it for this time. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.